In this tutorial I'll explain how to plot the mean in a ggplot2 bar plot in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video I will show you an example and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 and 3 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object is appearing which is called data and if you click on this data object a new window is opened which is showing the structure of our data frame and as you can see our data frame contains 12 rows and two columns and the first column is a group indicator and the second column which is called value contains numeric values. Now, if you want to draw these data with a ggplot2 package, we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines 5 and 6. I've already installed the package, so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 6 of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package, such as ggplot and geombar, as you can see in lines 8 and 9 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the bottom right of RStudio that a new bar chart has been created. However, you can also see that the y-axis of this bar chart shows the count of each group. So let's assume that we want to show the mean values in each group. Then we can apply the code that you can see in lines 11 to 14 of the code. And in line 11 of the code, I'm using exactly the same code as I already did in the previous code in line 8. However, this time I'm specifying different parameters within the geom bar function. So in the previous code, I have used the stat argument and I have specified to this argument the character string identity. And this specifies that I show a bar chart with counts. However, if you specify the stat argument to be equal to summary, the position to be equal to dodge, and the fun to be equal to mean, then our bar chart is drawn with mean values, as you can see by running lines 11 to 14 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the bottom right that our bar chart is updated, because this time the values on the y-axis represent the mean values of our bars. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.